After 71 years of performance, the Niagara Symphony Orchestra is finally showcasing its history. We're here today at the St. Catharines Museum for the grand unveiling of their newest exhibit, the NSO at 71. So this exhibit's in our community exhibit space. The idea is to try to highlight the history of different people in our community, but asking them to tell their story. So they've put this exhibit together and they've decided what they think is important in the story uh, that they want to tell about their organization or their uh, community group. And uh, so for the Niagara Symphony Orchestra, it features, not surprisingly, musical instruments, uh, some instruments from their more modern music camp and uh, some programs, sheet music, uh, and some really cool pictures from the past. Now, in the history of the St. Catharines Museum, has anything from the NSO ever been featured in the past? I think we've featured different pieces from the NSO, as in like photos uh, from our collection or bits of sheet music that had come from there, or maybe a music program, but we haven't had a full exhibit since I've been here, which is about eight or nine years. Bradley, would you care to tell us a little bit about the uh, significance of this new exhibit on display? Yeah, this is, uh, this is amazing because as I, as I was telling people earlier that when I first got here, I was shocked about the lack of awareness that there was actually a professional symphony orchestra in Niagara. And it's been one of my missions to make sure that even if you don't like orchestra music, that, that you are aware. It's very important to know that, you, that we live in a community that, that can support and, and does support a, a professional symphony orchestra. So it's been one of our missions just to create awareness that the orchestra is there for you if you want. We're attracting better players and world-class guest artists and it's one of those very few examples of if you build it apparently they will come. Uh, that, that quality is something that people will come. I think one of, the re one of the things that has contributed to our expanded audience and our success is the fact that the orchestra has gotten better and that our venue is better, our programming is better and the support we have from our patrons and community is better. I understand there's some upcoming uh, shows still to be had for the uh, NSO. Would you care to tell us a little bit about that and when people can uh, expect to see them? Sunday, for example, uh, right before the Super Bowl, we're going to be doing uh, music uh, that is based in sports. So we're going to be doing the famous story, uh, the hockey sweater, and we're going to be looking ahead to baseball season and doing uh, Casey at the Bat. Concert's over by four, so everybody can make it to their Super Bowl parties. Um, and then, uh, but coming up this month in February, we, we're featuring um, uh, all female cast on stage, including the, a guest conductor from Quebec. Um, and we're going to be doing the Women of Rock. It's more of a rock concert uh, feel. And then uh, in March, we're going to be welcoming, welcoming back to Niagara the concertmaster, the first violinist of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, to do a concert uh, with the music of Sibelius, the Sibelius Violin Concerto in his third symphony it's a really ambitious really exciting classical program so in the next few weeks we've got a little bit of everything something for families something for the rock fans and something for the classical lovers now earlier you mentioned about uh, having world-class guest artists performing with the NSO would the orchestra ever consider having famous TV anchor Ron Burgundy to perform the flute for example <laughs> well if, if Ron Burgundy wants to come he's more than welcome to come we would I would write a piece for him to come so <laughs> And for people interested in seeing the exhibit, uh, what steps do they need to take to come and uh, see it? It's not that hard. We're open 9 to 5 every day. Uh, admission is by donation, and the exhibit is right in the lobby. So as soon as they come in, they can't miss it when they get here. For more information on the orchestra and all of their upcoming performances, visit NiagaraSymphony.com. From St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.